Hello everybody. We're going to do a mashup today. We're going to do a little bit of makeup review and we're going to do a card reading. And yes, I do have faceted nails. Ooh, they're a little banged up because I have been painting. So update on the house. Dining room is actually done. Next room, who knows? So when you guys call me and, and uh, check in, I'll be telling you all about that stuff. Do you get to hear me complain? But if you see paint swatches, that's what that is. That's just paint from the dining room. So um, at the end of this, uh, towards the end of this video, stay tuned because we're going to see what the rest of your week looks like. Since a lot of places are lifting quarantine and people are getting out and about, I pulled three cards. So you're going to pick one, two, or three to see what the rest of your week is going to entail, what you need to learn from this. But we'll go through a real quick, um, these are some things. My uh, boxy charm did not come in. It actually went to the wrong house. So that will be in the next, next video. We'll do a boxy charm review. But these are some fun things I found. So this one I want to go over with you first, actually. This is from Amazon. Okay. So Delancey is a brand I bought from before. Uh, and they're really, really good. They're cheap super pigmented so if you need like a fill-in color or you want a palette to take on vacation hit up Delancey I've gotten some really good stuff from them and they're not expensive at all I don't know where they're out of but they have a lot of knockoff brands um so it was funny was I had picked up this palette on Amazon and then um my honey bought the exact same one but he got he got the same one from Amazon but they sent the the knockoff they are literally the exact palette, except, except, oh, if I can open this with my nails. This one came shattered. So the, the name brand one came shattered and the knockoff one came perfect. They are literally the exact same palette. So like everybody else, I'm waiting for Jeffree Star to do a green palette. But in the meantime, if you like green this has got you covered okay so it has some of the yellows it has some nice blending colors this one's very like champagne -y. there's my there's my finger very champagne -y. that that's really really nice micro gold so we have some of the more yellowy um greens we have some just straight green greens and then we have um that is a blue it's definitely blue it's not blue green and then this one's more of a like a tealy blue green so they run the gamut and three nice pressed glitters now, they're not very fine glitters. They're a little chunky, but that's okay. That's all right. So um, they have either this one, which is the knockoff, or the Delancey. They have um, a green palette. They have a blue palette, a purple palette, and a red palette. I think they have a neutral palette, too. And these were 10 bucks. So not bad. I mean, not really. I think that was excellent. Um Super pigmented, yeah, they are, they are, they are very pigmented, even with, um, I'm going to go over this, even with an eyeshadow primer, as I just threw it on the ground, they do fade, okay, so I did have a lot of fading with this, so if you want to go out or you want to go to a party, okay, and just to have your makeup look good for, you know, three to four hours, do this, and, and you can get a ton of colors for cheap, cheap, cheap. If you're looking to have put your eyeshadow on in the morning and go to work all day and then come home at night and then go out to lunch or, or go out to dinner and go out with your friends, no, this is not going to make it. This is going to crease and this is going to fade, okay, even with a primer, which I'll go over next. So, but for fill-in, for party, I wore it to a party the other day. Um, it's fun. It's a lot of fun and it's 10 bucks. You get uh, 12 colors? Yeah, you get 12 colors. So, there's a 15. Hold on. I'm wrong. It's 15. You can get 15 colors for, for 10 bucks. So it was, I think it was great. And Amazon even gave me the money back for the broken, uh, the broken mirror. Now onto this. Okay. Because of quarantine going on, um, I could not get the Mac painterly paint pot. Um, and there's another one called, Oh, what is it? Oh, there's a lighter one too. There's like a, a shimmery one. And that is really, really good for making your eyeshadow stick. All primer is not created equal. Uh, eyeshadow primer is specific for eyeshadow. Okay. And I wear drag queen level amounts of eyeshadow. So I read that this was a really good dupe. Um, I wish I had the receipt here, but I know I got it. Uh, it was on sale at Walgreens. Buy one, get one 50% off. So the two of them together cost 11 bucks. So I think... No, and I bought something else. I don't know, whatever. So <laughs> two were, uh, like, I think, I think it was like, I, I, I got one other thing. 
I got candy too, something like that. So, so I think this is six ninety nine, so it'd be seven bucks. Yeah, so that'd be about all right. Okay, so for that amount of money and the Mac Paint Trilly Paint Pots, those those are in the mid twenties, and I've seen them go up to forty dollars depending on where you're buying them from. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, when I put this on, it was a there was a little tingle to it. Now it wasn't a burn. It was nothing like that. It didn't irritate my eye. I don't know if there's like some kind of menthol in here or something that makes your um, blood vessels constrict so that the eyeshadow goes on nicer. But is this an exact dupe for Mac? No. Is it really, really, really good? Yes. So I'd say you get 90 to 95% of the benefits of Mac at you know, we're going to say one fifth, we're going to be nice and say one fifth. The price is probably more like one sixth the price. Okay. So something to look into. It's very small, but you know, you don't use much. So check that out. If you want good, cheap stuff, here's another one of my little dirty finds. I love a big drag queen. I, I love a lot of mascara. I like a heavy eyeliner. Okay. This is called, it's in Amazon under Sabo. I don't know if you can see it in there. Do you see where it's a Sabo? S-A-B-O. It's not showing it on here. Let me get all my fingerprints off here. It's under Sabo. Let me see if I can see it in person. Not The camera, the uh, lens is not giving me good. Okay. It doesn't say anything about cabaret, anything like that. Okay, so it's nothing like that. But if you go on Amazon under Sabo Mascara, S-A-B-O, here it is, Vivian Sabo, okay, Paris. But it says it's made in Italy. Who cares? Whatever. Okay, so then when I got the box, I unfortunately threw the box out. It says Cabaret Artistic Mascara. What? So you get it, and it's this, let me open it up real quick. It is this super skinny mini Super skinny, like, no, bitch. I'm used to, like, my damn girl mascara and my crazy thick drag queen stuff. Guess what? This stuff looks super natural. It doesn't clump. It's not thick. It's not gooey. And it coated my lashes from tip to tip. It was nuts, okay? It, it I, I immediately bought another tube. This with shipping and everything, I think was like $11, which again, comparatively to my other, you know, I've bought, you know, $30 mascara before. This was excellent. We'll see how it lasts. Um, I did wear it through a day. It did not irritate my eyes. I did get a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of transfer on my bottom lashes, but I have watery eyes. I did. I got no transfer on my upper lashes. So if you like a good thick, um, not so much thick, they didn't make my lashes thicker, but they definitely looked really long and super black. Okay. So, um, it actually gave a little bit more of a natural look. Uh, just, they look like nice eyelashes instead of like my big old drag queen lashes. Okay. So Vivian Sabo, I hope I'm saying that right. And Cabaret Mascara. It's going to be under Sabo in Amazon though. Okay. And I have no affiliate links here. There's no, <laughs> not, not sponsored. The other two things I bought when um, Ulta finally opened back up. We don't have Sephora's down here, unfortunately. Um, I got the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This was 43 plus tax. And then I got my favorite. This this concealer is forget about shape tape. The Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Um, I only get the small one because they that's the only one they have in my color, which is... I don't know if they show it here, but it is the super palest one they have. It's like, it's not even a color. It's a 0.5. Okay. <laughs> 0 0.5 is my color. Okay. This was seven bucks. Get this, wear this everywhere. Put this everywhere you can. Put this on your cereal. Um, shape tape is very expensive. I think this is much better. It's a much better formula. It lasts longer. Um, get this one. And if you're a normal human color, they have bigger ones. They have ones that are twice as big for $10. Um, and you can actually use those as foundation if you want a heavy coverage. Um, they just don't make my color because I'm so pale. So Estee Lauder. Um, Jerry's still out on this one. It's it's a $43 foundation. Uh, it kind of went yellow on me. It, kinda, it, it oxidized. And I, I really wasn't... I'm, I've been more impressed with... Uh, Morphe liquid 
was it Morphe Fluidity and, and with the Makeup Revolution stuff, which was only like 10 bucks. Not super impressed with this. I'm going to be dead honest with you. So um, you can see what color I wear. And that, that went yellow on me. And it's a cool. It is literally the whitest cool they make. And it still went yellow. So Yavo. Okay, so that's, this one's not a win. So if you're in the market for this, I don't know. Try it for your skin type. Make sure you can take it back. That's all I can say. Because for 43 bucks plus tax, you know, it's almost $50. It's a little... I, I thought it would have made me a martini and... And, uh, you know, turn the bed down at the end of the night. But it did not. Um, these are all my cheapy ones. I'm actually, these are my, this is my cheap haul and my one expensive. And not so great. So thank you for hanging in till the end of the uh, review, the makeup review. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I had one lovely lady today send me a bunch of hashtags that help with the algorithms to help, you know, change that out. So if you have any advice on how to, uh, you know, hack YouTube and, and Facebook, let me know. So here is uh, what you're going to need for the next week, what the next week of yours is going to look like now that we're all getting back to opening up. Okay. So people, number one, the hero fan, you need to look into learning either taking, let me get this makeup out of here before I knock it over like I just did. You need to look into either taking a class or learning something. Okay. So look into restarting school. Look into a new vocation. This is all about learning and helping others with what you have learned. So don't just keep it to yourself also. And, and also think about what you learned during this time of being, you know, in lockdown. Okay. This is all about learning cards. So if you're thinking about going back to school, if you're thinking about doing something different, if you're thinking about, you know, um, helping somebody else get through school. This is an education week for you. Keep your eyes and ears open for education opportunities. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to go back to school. Could be trade school. Could be um, like a Skillshare type thing. Could be, you know, hey, you know, I have a business and I learned how to, I need to learn how to put up a website. You know, there's a bunch of different things, but this is all about learning for your next week. Okay, people number two. Oh, this is a card of coming back together. So yes. Fortunately, we are getting out of quarantine. Not everybody is, but it's, you know, the world's starting to open back up. This is about coming back together, seeing loved ones. This can possibly also be a reconciliation. So if you have been away from your honey, if you have been, um, maybe you started a relationship, but you couldn't really go full tilt because all this stuff happened. This is a, this is a time of reconnection. So don't worry so much about money. Don't worry so much about career. This is all about reconnecting with loved ones. Okay. And if there is somebody that you kind of liked, or you were talking to before, um, the world shut down, call them back up. It's time to, to reconnect time to make that happen. People number three, literally it's saying it feels like groundhog day for you. Okay. This literally says the rest of your week. I, I can't say you have anything to learn. Well, you do. Of course, everybody does, but it's literally saying it may feel like groundhog day. You may have another few days. I am so sorry. People number three, you may have a few more days of repeating, 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 rinse, repeat, 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 just a few more days. This is just to the end of the week. It's not forever. Um, but also when we have to repeat, 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 try to take joy in it. Know that the light is at the end of the tunnel and all of this will soon be over. Okay. Because this death card does not mean death. It literally means it's a cycle that repeats. And when it's done, there is a rebirth. Okay. So when this is all over, you may have a few extra days compared to your friends or, or loved ones across the country. But once it's all over, you're going to be reborn. Okay. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to stop by the store. I'm going to have a video in a little bit. I am uh, one by one every week. I'm focusing on redoing one of the lines of products. So we did the Chinese wash and we did the money drawing last week. This week is going to be the sugar daddy, uh, also known as Cleo May formula. So that's for uh, people who want to get extra attention, want to get extra love, want to get some money out of their man, or just want to get a sugar daddy. I mean, with all this crap going on in the world, you know, we all got bills, so, um, we can make that happen. So stay tuned. I'll have the new products, the new line and the new descriptions out for the sugar daddy soap, oil, votive and salt. And I do also have spells toward that. Okay. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, head over, make sure you're signed up at the Instagram, at the YouTube, the Facebook and 
wherever else you can find me on the internet. Have a great day, guys.